All right, here's our latching Hall effect sensor little motor. Go on the town here. Nice little holder. And uh, thanks to Lead Motor for showing me how to do this through his videos. And as you notice, my little power strip there, you can't see the light, but it's not on right now. That's because I decided to try out a brand new solar panel someone gave me. I jerry-rigged it to a big long extension cord, ran the cord out to the panel laying in the yard there, and the motor is running off that solar panel. Tried running it with the solar panel in here in the shade. The solar panel was only putting out about two and a half volts. Wouldn't do anything. Uh, out in the sunlight there, it seemed to be putting about 21 volts out. And of course, at the real low milliamperage that it's outputting, I guess that's why it's not burning out this reed switch. I fully expected to blow the reed switch. But this thing now has been running about at least 10 minutes on just the solar panel and doing real good. Okay, here's a little reed switch motor using a VCR drum and it's got a bifiler coil on the uh, little bobbin. The reed switch sticking out up top. Let me plug this thing in over here and let's see how it took off by itself this time. These things will get up to some pretty good speed. And uh, this thing takes anywhere between 50 seconds and a minute and five seconds to stop once you turn unplug it. So it has real good uh, spinability, if that's a good word. So if you're looking for something that spins easy, these drums out of VCRs are ideal. My holder there, it's not that beautiful. It's a little container from 99 cent store and it popped on me a little bit the uh, part going around there and so I just had a tape with some white tape but it spins real good. <laughs> 